So in my discussions with people playing Halo 1 custom game browser, I realize a lot of folks actually don't even understand that you can change the game settings or they just pick the default ones. And this kind of creates some problems in gameplay. So I'm going to run through it. You create your own solo custom game. You, know, you pick your base type. For most people that'll probably be Classic Pro. And then it gives you this list of options. Uh, you know, and they're all up to you mostly, but, you know, personally I think matchmaking has no radar and the Halo one's better without it. Vehicle respawn. This is the most important one that the default settings for some reason have it set to off. This really messes with the flow of the large vehicle maps if it's left off. A team can hoard all their vehicles and never push, and then everyone has to walk across these large maps, creating just kind of stagnant matches with pistol fights only. And it also can lead to things like base stuffing, where, you know, they'll just, because the vehicles will never leave, they can just stuff every warthog in that map into their base and make it impossible almost for anyone to get a flag out. So I think it just prevents a lot of obnoxious bullshit if you set it to 60 or 90 seconds. And, you know, the rest of this obviously is up to you. I feel like ghosts and banshees have a place. I feel like tanks can be abused pretty hard, so it's best to limit them to two or not put them in. And unfortunately, this UI is crazy. It doesn't always tell you what something means. Normally, you'd expect to scroll over something and it would explain, like, what is hardcore rules down there. But instead, it just says yes or no. So, I couldn't tell you what hardcore rules even are. Lol. 343. But, I think it's important to mess with some of these. I think team changing is good. People can balance out the teams if they're not being dishonorable. You know, probably start people off with a, uh... Magnum and Assault Rifle, just to make sure they always have one. Oh, and of course it just probably evacuated my things. Okay. 90 seconds start. So you basically, you'll make the match, boot it. Which is silly and archaic. And then you'll immediately quit the match. Capture the flag. Go to your settings menu, my files, game types, and then it'll be the last one. And you can then save it, upload it, whatever. So that's how you go through that process. It's not easy or sensical. And just to contrast it, I'm going to quickly boot up the Gearbox version from 2002 or 3, which dealt with this in a much more sensible way. So yeah, that's it. I just hope maybe a few people who play with me might see this and that we might have better servers because the default settings can kind of lead to stalemates and nonsense. Thank you for watching.